All right, now we're here with uh, Paul Beck. Uh, moved all the way up here from Columbus, Georgia for your senior year, huh? Just to be a Ray? I sure did. Just a little background on that. What, uh, what happened with that? Well, I started cheering in seventh grade because my older sister Anna was involved in the sport. And I kind of was always around the gym with her at practices, and then I kind of got into it with tumbling classes. And pretty shortly after, I became a little bit better than she was. So she decided that maybe cheerleading was just for me and not for her. But um, in seventh grade, I started cheering. And by the time I was in eighth grade, kind of seen stingrays at competitions, been around them a little bit in those atmospheres. And I decided that's the place that I wanted to be. Well, by the time I ended my career, I wanted to put on that stingray uniform and go out and represent one of the best gyms in the world. Wow, that's great. That's great. That's great aspirations there. So now you're coaching and you're competing. Yes, um, I am. Obviously coaching, you know, young stingrays now and also competing. Give, it, give us a little background. What, what do you got going competition-wise right now? What are, you, what are you doing there? Well, as far as competitions, I'm definitely in it for the long haul. I start with one of our youngest teams called Peppermint, which is our large mini level one. And then I coach one of our oldest teams, large senior five, which is called Orange. So I'm there at 6 a.m. and I'm there until 11 p.m. And then with competing, as far as some of the big competitions like Cheer Sport and Worlds, it'll be a little bit crazy balancing my team as well as the teams that I coach. So warm-ups might be at the same time, might be competing around the same time, I might be coaching a kid while I'm in my uniform fresh off the floor. So it's definitely a little bit of a balance, but it keeps me passionate about doing it and keeping my skills up. And also it's fun for the kids to see me go out there and compete. Absolutely. That's great. That's great. So, uh, so what kind of coach are you? Are you a yeller, a screamer? Are you compassionate? Are you laid back? Uh, what, um, what, what kind of coaching skills you got? I'd say that I'm pretty laid back until I see a kid get too laid back. And that's when I kind of step up my game as far as like getting frustrated because no one wants to be, have that lazy kid on their team that goes in there and doesn't really give it their all. And you kind of see it on their face and in their body that they're like not really going for it all the way. So when I see a kid that's not giving it their all, I kind of get in there a little bit more because I remember as a teammate, which I'm still a te on a team, it's hard to have that one kid out there, that one teammate out there that really isn't there for the right reasons. So I try to make sure everyone's there and giving it their all at all times. Great, great. Big uh, competition this weekend, huh? First one of the year? Yes, big competition. Yeah. It's, you guys ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's hope that I also help <laughs> all the to kids. prepare all the kids. The kids, ready. kids ready? Yeah, they are. Okay, great, great. Any last words? Great to be a Ray, uh, like everybody else? Great to be a singer. Yeah, it's always awesome to be one of a kind. Great. Thanks again, Paul. No problem.